Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Teresa, Teresa's Crafty Gabbana. Today I'm going to show you how to scan in your jelly prints or artwork and get them digital. So I'm going to show you the process that I do. Obviously there's a, there's a lot of ways that you could do this, but the way that I do it is for Etsy. So I'll start with how I scan them and then I'll show you how I kind of clean them up on my iPad. So here's my app on my iPad that has my scanner option. So what I do, and I have this HP that I got several years ago. Obviously there's some better kinds that you can get. Mine is the kind that you have to kind of slide in. Just like that. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if your print is a little bit sticky based off the paint that's used, it can present a challenge. Not impossible, but we're gonna try it. Sometimes it gets stuck. So what I do then is on my iPad, I hit scan over here and it starts scanning. And you can see it starting to show up on my iPad. Once it's done, it finishes. And then this is where I can actually edit where these little boxes are, the little lines. So that is just my jelly print. So once I've edited where the jelly print is, I hit it next up here. Then I edit how it looks. To do that, you hit the three dots, edit. I come in here to adjust. I like to adjust my saturation. Kind of looking at the actual print as I go. I do like to enhance the colors because they are harder to see on a computer. So I like to make sure they're very visible in the color that I see them. I may increase the contrast, go back and forth. I don't tend to do too much with contrast. Clarity, it all depends on how much white is in my print. Clarity can make it look foggy, so I'm not going to do clarity there. My whites, again, I just kind of play with it. The white does kind of bring out the colors a little bit, and I always bring my black down. Just a little. And there. It does look more vibrant than print, but on a digital file, that's how it really grabs the eye. And when you print it, it kind of dulls down already anyway. So that's probably all of the adjustment I'm going to do to mine. Then I'll hit done. And then once I'm done with it, I can save it right over here, save it to my files and I can continue adding the next one if I wanted to in series. So if I wanted to scan my next one, I can hit add up here. So let's do one more. This one has a different color, so it might look different. So we'll hit add, scan. All right, so that's our scanned in one. Now it won't capture any of those metallics in your digital prints. So again, just gonna pull my box in and I'll say next, do my edits. Up at the top here, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of squiggly. So I want to crop a little bit more. There's another crop option. So I'm just going to crop it down. 
like that. And I'll hit done. Then I'll go back down to my adjust. Again, I'm going to bring up my saturation. Clarity, I'm going to test it. Maybe just a little clarity. Whites. And then my blacks. I'll bring those down. Okay. And then again, that's the original. And there's the digital of it. Then I'll hit done. And now you can see there's two of them. I can rotate through both until I get all the ones in my series that I did. And then I can name them all my series. You can reorder them up here. You can rotate them. So then I, my iPad thought I said Siri. So anyway, so that's how I upload my digitals and then I use these to put them into my Etsy shop but you can use them if you really love a print and you don't want to lose that print by say playing around with it and maybe you want to use it for a couple of different projects and you just love how it turned out you don't think you'll be able to get that same print again doing digitals is a great way to scan them in and then you can also resize them so um, if you download them into a program like Procreate or Adobe Photoshop, you can size them down and create like a little tag size. You can size them up and make them more like poster size. So there's a lot of options once you have them as digitals. Um, so I definitely recommend, you know, trying it out if you like to save your artwork or your jelly prints. So let me know if you found this video helpful. And um, if you've ever tried downloading your prints or adding them to digital files or turning them into digital files. Well, thanks for watching and happy crafting y'all.